Church at home. And who are you? Ezra. Boss is down there. Yeah, he's being grumpy. I'm Joel. I'm Jess. And it is week two. two. Yes, that's right. You joined in. Well done. <laughs> We're so happy to see you all joining with us again. Um, I hope you're sitting comfortably because uh, we're just going to start with a prayer and then we'll move to a story. So let's pray. <laughs> Morning God, we just pray that today we can have even more fun than last time. We can learn a little bit more about you and enjoy a wonderful craft. Amen. Amen. The craft is like making some like it isn't, but you'll find out that shortly. But first, hope you still come to for the story. Uh, so today we're reading God's very good idea. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had an idea. A very good idea. It was an even better idea than chocolate chip cookies, solar panels. The super soaker, colour TV, fireworks, the life raft, roller skates and the x-ray machine. God's idea was to make people, lots of people, lots of different people who would all enjoy loving him and all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in his image. They would all be like mirrors reflecting what God is like. Because God is full of love, they would be full of love too. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. And he said to them, be happy, enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and look after the earth and enjoy the earth. All of them were made in his image and all of them were different too. Some were men and some were women. Some liked reading, some had darker skin and some had lighter skin and some liked riding bikes. Some had curly hair and some had straight hair. We live in God's world. We're all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak different or play different, but they are all made in God's image and so they are all valuable. This is God's very good idea. But people ruined God's very good idea. The first people chose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they chose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. We are all the same. We choose not to love God, and so we are not able to love each other. She's been not nice to that guy. Yeah, she's a bit bad, isn't she? She wants his phone back. <laughs> I don't know if it's his phone, but she's heartbroken, not bless his heart. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different than us. People fight with each other. People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he is not pleased with us. Our sin means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness and people who like riding bikes need forgiveness. People with darker skin need forgiveness and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. People with curly hair need forgiveness and people with straight hair need forgiveness. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So he got to work. He came to earth as a person called... Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die, but this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sin so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to, to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they know. Jesus helps us to love each other. 
One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and skin colours. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing and finishing his very good idea. But here's a very, very, very good part of God's very good idea. You don't have to wait until then to enjoy it. Jesus welcomes anyone who asks him to forgive them. And when Jesus welcomes someone, he welcomes them into his family forever. He welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and people with lighter skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and people with straight hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters, your wonderful and colourful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying loving him and loving each other. God made it, people ruined it, he rescued it and he will finish it. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Great. And that is the end of the story. I hope you really loved that story. Um, the really important message from it is that everybody is God's creation and God <laughs> loves everybody. Um, and that doesn't matter whether they're politicians or homeless people, they're all equally valued. Um, and Ezra yesterday really made my heart proud by asking a man who was outside the supermarket if he'd had any dinner, um, and he hadn't had any dinner, and so to show him that love and respect and kindness, Ezra picked him out a cheese sandwich, some sweets and some water. Now, uh, we'll put up on screen maybe some more um, discussion points or questions you might like to ask uh, about the themes from that story for you to talk about as a family. Welcome to this week's craft. Uh, as per usual, we're trying to make sure each craft um, has things that you'd have at home. So for this week we needed some straws, um, but you can just use your mouth if you don't have a straw, yeah, um, yeah. some paper and some blobs of paint. Um, and the other point to say is, um, like our story this week, we're all starting out the same. We've just some, we've all got some blobs of paint, they're all the same, they're all exactly the same, but when we've finished, they'll look so different. So here you go, here's your straw, here's your oh, straw, but well, it's refused to come. So here's his straw. Ready? But there you go. Approximately 10 hours later. That's nine, Teddy. Oh, yours is a good one. Oh, Daddy! Oh my gosh. Teddy's really gone to town. Okay, so. The big reveal. We'll, we'll put them all up on the screen. But everybody, hold up your masterpieces. Um, Ta da! This is pretty crafty for us. Yeah. Us birds don't do that. Yeah. Ta da! A wonderful, a wonderful painting to go like for forever. Yeah. Oh, mine's not. Mine's very okay. Maybe that's going to dry. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> so we hope you can do a better job than we've done. And we want to see your blow paint pictures. Please. Because I'm still the winner of the boat. Yeah. I'm the winner of I'm the, the most wonderful the abstract blow yeah, paint artist until we well, see the, the last one is your attempt. Okay. okay. Last week, hopefully, we highlighted that prayers don't need to be the most picture perfect sentences. Um, and this week, I uh, suppose our prayers are highlighting that you can pray if there is chaos going on in the background. Um, equally a good time to pray. So, there weren't any prayer requests submitted no yet. So, we're just gonna um, pray for some things that we're happy about. Um, I assume we're still in shot. Um, you can hear us if nothing else. God can hear us, God Joel. Can That's hear what us. matters. That's true. So we're going to say so thank you to God for some great things and just pray for some things that we need to pray about. Yep. So uh, 
Dear God, thank you for uh, warm cups of tea on winter days. What are you thankful for? Uh, thankful that, um, sorry. Uh, thankful for that I've managed to keep running. Oh yeah, and every day in November. And not quite fallen apart. Yeah, um, and I'm thankful that bedtime will come. <laughs> Please, Lord. Um, and we'd love to pray. Oh, because I like playing cars and reading books. Okay, reading so you're thankful time. for cars and books. Brilliant. And chocolate. And chocolate. And chocolate. Forget the chocolate. Oh, forget never the chocolate. forget the chocolate. And we'd love to hear things that you're thankful for that we can pray for. Um, and then uh, when it comes to asking for things, um, we, God, we just need to make it through to bedtime because these boys have not napped. And in the background, they're being very chaotic. Um, it's getting late in the day. Um, we're also praying for, um, as per usual, the country, um, that people make the right decisions, that uh, people can keep their mental health um, during this lockdown number two. Anything you want to, anything you want to add in? Um, that my legs still hold up. Yeah. Just all about me this week. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fine, because that's what prayer is about. Because I've got 16 more days to go. Of running every day. Running every day. Um, and I would love to have done that too, but I'm older and my legs do not last as well, so I've done a lot of walking. Um, anyway. We'll say amen. We'll say amen. Amen. amen.